Hi there, Rob Gerard with Technical Marketing at Tintree. What I'm gonna show you today is how to clone out a set of VMs. We're gonna put them into an isolated test environment, and then we're gonna refresh them from prod. I'm gonna show you both manual and automated steps to do this. Here we go. All right, so what we wanna do is we wanna take a, a set of VMs. We have these uh, Citrix infrastructure VMs. I picked on these because this is a complex set of VMs with a lot of interdependencies. And what we wanna do is make a separate set of these. So here's an example of one that I've already done. And what we're gonna do in this case is we're not gonna get customize the guest OS, um, although that's an option to do with all this automation. And we're gonna take uh, all of those VMs and we're gonna put them off in their own little network. So in this case, I've got an empty uh, network, an empty port group. Uh, nobody's in this VLAN and this is going to be where I'm gonna copy my production VMs to. So we'll just um, go back to our list of VMs here. And these are the ones I want to target. And we're going to hop into our VM store. And we're just going to go over to the, the VM view. So as VMware storage, we have uh, great visibility for all the VMs in here. Uh, this is really easy to set up. And uh, it's just a matter of pointing it at the vCenter. And the rest of the magic is done automatically. So I'm going to pick a VM, and I'm going to pick uh, this uh, AD controller. And what I want to do is I want to make a clone of them. And I can choose to create a new snapshot, but in this case, I'm going to use it from a scheduled snapshot because the entire group was all snapped at the same time, which is 6 a.m. in this case. And the clone name on this one, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to call it, uh, let's call it demo vid. And I have a choice of putting it into uh, this vCenter where it lives, another vCenter, which could be in another site, or another VM store altogether if I've got replication set up. Very flexible. And, uh, and then within the vCenter, I'm going to choose the host. And in this case, these are guest customization scripts that you would pull out of vCenter. Uh, this is done automatically. And in this case, I don't want to customize because I'm going to set everything up in a separate network. I'm just going to click clone here. And this goes through. Let's go look at vCenter real quick. It's in progress. And the VM is now registered and done. We have a VM that is fully functional and ready to go. However, we don't want to start this up just yet. So let's jump into our settings. And we're going to shrink the CPUs because we just want to test copy and we don't want to uh, use all the, uh, all the resources from our host. And we're going to shrink this down to just 4 gigs. So this is something that you would have to do with every clone, uh, but with Sync VM, I'm going to show you that we can do all this work one time and then take advantage of that work and refresh it later. And of course, we don't want it in the same network as the original or it may conflict. So let's go put it off in that VLAN that we chose. Okay, this guy is ready to go. All right, and that wraps up manual cloning. Stay tuned for more.